What's up, guys? Blade Walker here. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Whatever time it is where you're at, thank you for coming and tuning in to the channel. I want to get into a couple of things. Got a lot going on. Got I did go to the Smoky Mountain Knife Works meetup. Um, I'm at Brian's Knives. I'm at Clark's and Tuggy Knives. Aaron over at 865 Knives, Aaron over at AW Customs, and Ryan at RH Blades and Shades. These guys are incredible. They're awesome guys. I hate I had to leave. I only got to stay for a couple hours, or now three hours, and had to duck out. Guys, I was having air issues, so I went and put oxygen on. Come back in and start again. So I thought it best I just go. My stamina is not built up yet, guys, from my recovery. I apologize. I hated I had to leave. I heard y'all had a great time after two. I know Brian's knives and Clark's Kentucky knives left right before me. I did want to stay. It was hot in there and it was totally affecting me. I also didn't want to say, guys, I had you something, but I left it at home because that's cheesy. That's what somebody that was that would be lying would say. So I thought at best I just didn't say nothing, except for I forgot my stickers. Guys, I did have a little something for four of you. I didn't know there was going to be five. But if you ever send me your address, I'll get you a little something out. Aaron, I've got yours. I do plan on getting... If I, you haven't received stickers from me and we're doing a sticker swap, please hit me up. I know Travis Case guy, I got you. But I can't remember who all I said I'd send a sticker to. Uh, Aries EDC, if you watch this. No, I got it on Instagram. Okay. But I wanted to do this video for two reasons. One is to thank these guys. First, Robo Stevo. Guys, I love Robo Stevo. Robo Stevo, I love you, man. You're incredible. You're more than just a subscriber. You're a friend of me. Thank you so much for the birthday present. You thought this is what blows my mind, guys. Is somebody that would have never met me? <coughs> excuse me. Thanks enough for me to send me some for my birthday to make sure I had a good birthday. It is incredible. It speaks so much about your character. Or your heart's at. You're a true brother. And not because you sent something. That is not what it takes to be a true brother. You're kind. And that makes you a true brother to me. You treat me with good respect. But you're also compassionate. You're giving. You're kind. You're always cutting up. Which makes my day brighter. So I love you, brother, so much for that. But anyway, guys, uh, we're going to get right into what he sent. Well, right in. I've probably been talking two or three minutes already. Check this out. This is a Rosecraft Blades. This is my color. And my two... My favorite colorway is silver and orange. I'm a big Tennessee guy. I bleed orange. But anyway, look at this blade is sick. This spear point is crazy. And guys, this is my first Rosecraft to own. Ginger Fisher 75 sent me one for a giveaway. This was sent just for me. And Gosh, thank you, Robo Stevo. 
This thing has not left my pocket. It has got a little weak detent. But all you gotta do is flip it a little bit. It'll come out just fine. Incredible. And the fit and finish on this is actually outstanding. Everybody kept saying, if you get a Rosecraft, you, you'll, you'll know. And so I have become a Rosecraft appreciation of Rosecraft Blades work. You know, I stay away from them, guys, because a lot of the China mass-produced stuff is just cheap-made. And no, no, I mean, no disrespect to China's. It's just, you, you guys, just like we do, we put out some that's not the best great, not the best quality. So it goes, it's, anyway. But anyway, this thing is very well done. I love it. And I will carry it. And another number two, the second guy, Jimmy Crow. <laughs> Guys, Jimmy Crow has been getting involved a lot. He has done stuff for I know at least two other channels. And I'm number three. He his his guy sits down, takes hours to do this processes on his knives, and then gives them to you guys. That's incredible. I mean, it blows my mind, guys, to know that people does this stuff, kind of stuff. I love you, Jimmy. Man, thank you, thank you, thank you. Guys, this is going to be for giveaway. I, I'm guessing he wants me to give both of them away. I'll have to check and see. But we're going to get into it. This person... Is a QSP. This is apricot dyed, apricot color, dyed scales, bronze. Well, let's see what that one is. Bronze hardware, an acid stone washed blade. This blade finish is money. I hope it's picking up and doing it justice. Look at this pocket clip. That distress look is so good. This is D2 and D10. But look at that action. And thing to work wrong with that. That's why I like mine. I don't want it to cut my finger off. Anyway, that's that's one. But he also sent another one. This one is highlighted black accents. Oh well. Wow. Check this guy out. These lines are incredible. Man. I hope it's coming up good. This is his sister. So you gotta, you know, you gotta watch yourself. It's ACR in stainless. But guys, this thing has got a good weight to it. I you know, like, and it's sharp, as you can see. Nicely done, guys. This thing will cut. Let me get a paper towel here. I keep one here just in case. <laughs> but anyway, I, I probably should start the video over, but I'm not going to. This is me. This is that what you get? I'm not always the perfect, you know what I mean? So, 
be careful when you handle this for sure. All I did was skim the blade. So these do come extremely sharp, or he may sharpen it. I'm not sure. That's pretty sharp for factory edge. But this thing right here is awesome. That finish. Jimmy, thank you, buddy. You've done an amazing job. Thank you for sitting down and taking hours to do this and then gifting it to, to my guys. Um, I don't know if you want me to get both of them away at one time or if, I don't know. Or I don't know what you exactly. You just let me know what you want me to do and it's done. I'm not one of these guys that keeps something that's not meant for me. So let me know, Jimmy, in the comments. But anyway, guys, this video is getting long, so I'll go ahead and stop it here. I do have a lot of stuff to go through. I made a couple purchases at uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Uh, you can see it on my Instagram. It's just a picture of the autographs on the box and stuff. But we're going to get into it. One of them is self-explanatory. You need to pay attention. It says it on the box which one it is. But we'll get into that on the next video. But I also got another package that I'm getting ready to make a video on. But you won't see it today probably. I'm going to make it for tomorrow. And I got this from Brother Mike. At Hunting for Hookers. So, you know, it's, it's truly a blessing, guys, to be part of this. No, I know that sounds so cliche because I'm getting gifts, but it's nothing about that. I was a on their channel way before I ever got some, and you can check with them, any of them, and tell them I was saying I loved you and appreciate you before I ever got these. But anyway, I'm gonna stop this here. I wish I could do more for you guys because I would give every one of you something. And if I could, it would be something really special. Anyway, I love you. You guys have a fantastic day. And until next time, peace. Go get a band aid. Maybe two.